Hi, first graders. Today we're going to start our um, line variation and um, shape composition for our Mondrian and Romero Brito inspired artwork. So we've looked at their work and we saw how they use lines differently. Some of them um, have more organic shapes, some are more geometric, and then we have a lot of line variation as well. While your composition will be broken up into different spaces today, um, but you do want at least one symbol that represents you. So I'll show you a few examples of symbols before we get started. Um, so you will use a symbol. So a symbol could be something like a heart. A symbol could be, I like to use a palette sometimes, an artist palette to represent myself. Um, a symbol could be a soccer ball. A symbol could be a football. A symbol could be maybe you really like math. So a symbol is something simple that represents something else. So you're going to draw a really big symbol with a pencil on this paper. So I am going to draw my big symbol, which is going to be my artist palette. And I'm also going to draw kind of like a wiggly brain on top. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Um, okay, so I'm doing an artist palette. And I could add a little paintbrush. So something simple, that, but that's unique, that represents you. So make it your own. After that, after you have your symbol, you're going to break up the space a little bit more in the background. And you could even add a couple more lines dividing up this space as well. So I'm going to break up my space with line. Then, when you're ready, you're going to raise your hand, and you're going to um, ask for this clear paper. So these papers were what I learned on. So instead of Prometheans, our teachers write on these, and they would get projected up. So it's a really old school, but it is something that's no longer used, so it would be thrown away, which is our theme for this year. So... Our theme is Reduce, Reusing, and Recycling. Um, so I'm going to now get some black paint on my brush for these black lines, and I'm going to carefully start adding outlines to these black lines. So it's kind of hard for me to see which ones I've done because I had black marker, but it will be easier for you because you used pencil to see what you have and what you didn't. So we're going to do this. We're going to put this on. I'm probably going to be walking around with some tape to help you get it taped and secured. And what we're going to have is the start to our black lines on this clear paper, which we will eventually paint um, our patterns, our bright colors on. But this is a really good tracing tool. So I'm tracing my lines to create my line variation. If you didn't like something, so I really like this side of my brain because it was a little bit more natural. I know it's a little strange looking, but I kind of like that it's a little strange looking. Um, and I'm gonna keep that in mind as I make my other side. So if there's anything that wasn't going well, the good thing is it's still not too late to change it. So I'm just gonna change this a little bit. And this is representing the fact that art is something that we, I think everybody should learn about. So I love teaching art to you guys and you need to be smart to create art. So I'm passionate about the learning aspect within the arts and the growth aspect that it brings to you all um, and helping others realize that too. So. If you finish that, so I didn't do this last line, I'm gonna keep in mind that I wanna keep my brush really thin and still be able to see everything that I'm doing. So 
let's say that I made a mistake. I actually did make some mistakes right there. So let's say that I accidentally dropped something right here. First of all, it could be a surprise in disguise. So I could just say, oh, you know what? There's going to be another line there. But if I really make a mistake and I didn't want it, I'm not going to smudge it or do anything to it now. I'm actually just going to wait. If it moves, put it back. So if this moves when I'm tracing, put it back. I will be coming around with tape. But if it gets um, on somewhere that you didn't want it, I'm actually just going to wait. And I think I want to rub that part off of the brain too so that it looks more like a brain. Um, so if you make a mistake, we will edit it later. So we'll let it dry because it could come off, but when it's dry, you can really just scratch it off. So don't get too upset. We're just going to keep moving on. We can scratch it off later if we don't wipe it off now. Um, so there's the start to my artwork. Again, I think I need to edit this. I'm working upside down right now, if you can't tell. If I was working right set up, it'd be like this. So it's a little challenging, but I kind of like this because I have my brain or symbol for a brain at the top, and it kind of looks like a little big heart. So it kind of does a little bit of everything. Um, but I do want to edit this shape a little bit um, once it's dry. But I'm not going to get all worried about it because I can do that later. The big mar main part of today is making sure that you have... Um, completed your simple symbol or so a symbol that represents you in some way and then divided up your extra space and even divided up some of the inside space as well. And then we will later add our patterns and our colors to it um, on two separate days um, to complete our work. So this is the start to mine. And if you really feel like you're finished, maybe you add a couple more um, lines to make it even better or clarify the ones that you had. So I think this could use some extra division of space. And remember, it doesn't have to be all be straight lines. It could be curvy, zigzag, broke, uh, not broken, but dotted. Um, and make sure that you go back over your lines to make sure they're complete. All right. Have a wonderful art class. This was the beginning to my um, lines. And I will... See you next time so we can begin with pattern and color.